So next concept ma, after matrices, we are going to discuss about mean value theorems. So before going to discuss about mean value theorem, what mean value theorems exactly discuss, we are going to discuss first. So in the introduction, here we are going to discuss in mean value theorem about continuous functions and derivable functions. That is, let y equal to f of x is continuous in closed interval a comma b means for a less than c less than b limit extends to c f of x equal to f of c and limit extends to a plus 0 f of x equal to f of a limit x stands to b minus 0 f of x equal to f of b. What it means actually? So, first I will discuss actual definition of continuity and derivability. Next I will discuss some shortcuts through which without applying these formulas you can decide whether function is continuous or not in the given closure interval. Very easy to apply the shortcuts. I will tell you after completion of actual concept. So here y equal to f of x is continuous in closed interval means from a to b. Starting from a to b values, if you check for every point that is called closed interval a b. Excluding a b in between a b values, if you check that is open interval. Closed interval means starting from A to B. Open interval means excluding AB in between AB. Now, a function is said to be continuous in closed interval A comma B means if there exists any point in between A and B like C, there also function should be continuous. A function is said to be, a function f of x is said to be continuous at particular point C if it satisfies this condition. Limit extends to C f of x equal to f of C. And a plus 0 f of x should be f of a and b minus 0 f of x should be f of b. That means what I am saying, a function is said to be continuous in closed interval a comma b means that is continuous at every point in between a and b. From in not in between, starting from a to b. Like that, we can say y equal to f of x is derivable in open interval a comma b means limit similarly for a less than c less than b limit x stands to c f of x minus f of c by x minus c exist and also limit x tends to a plus 0 f of x minus f of a by x minus a and limit x tends to b minus 0 f of x minus f of b by x minus b also exist. Then we can say the function is derivable. This is actual definition of derivability. A function is said to be derivable at m at x equal to c, we have to apply this formula. This is derivability condition. But I know it is a little difficult to understand actual definitions of differentiability and continuity. But there is one very easy technique to understand the function is continuous or not, differentiable or not. That I am going to discuss, especially in properties of uh, continuous functions and derivable functions properties. So here I will give you one easy technique ma, to identify whether given function is continuous or not, derivable or not. That technique is nothing ma. If a function is given, you can easily check that function is continuous in the closed interval or not. By verifying whether that function has finite values in that closed interval or not. What I am saying, if f of x equal to x in 0 to 10, if we substitute 0 to 10 values in f of x equal to x, can you get infinity mark? No. Then, 
f of x equal to x is continuous in closed interval 0 comma 10 similarly f dash of x if f of x is x f dash of x is 1 constant function if you write any value in, in the place of x you will get 1 only you won't get infinity that means f of x is derivable also so this is the easy technique which is helps you to identify whether a given function is continuous or not for that i am giving four properties ma if you can remember these four properties you can easily identify that function is continuous or not derivable or not so the first one is all polynomials are continuous and derivable all polynomials are continuous always continuous and derivable in any interval polynomial means f of x equal to x f of x equal to x is polynomial f of x equal to x square is polynomial x power a positive integer x square plus 2x plus 3 polynomial x cube polynomial like that if you identify given function is polynomial then no need to verify whether that function is continuous or not simply you can mention given function is polynomial so it is continuous and derivable similarly trigonometric function trigonometric function like sin cos are always continuous and derivable are always continuous and derivable sin cos this one you need to remember because you all know trigonometric function sin cos are lies between minus 1 and plus 1 if you want you can check in trigonometric table sin cos won't have infinity values at any value of uh, sin theta you cannot find infinity that means sin cos are always have finite values in any interval that means sin cos are always continuous and derivable similarly exponential function exponential function like e power minus x is always continuous and derivable always continuous and derivable e power minus x because you know e power minus infinity also zero that means there is no case of getting infinity in e power minus x that means e power minus x in any interval you can easily write continuous and derivable similarly fourth point ma the functions defined in the interval functions defined in closed interval a comma b are also always continuous and derivable what it means if a function is defined in closed interval a comma b you don't know a b values that's why by default if you can assume that function is continuous and differentiable then only you can do further applications otherwise you cannot apply any applications on given function that's why whenever a function is defined in closed interval a comma b blindly you can take that is continuous and derivable and one more property ma, just property if you remember these four points you can easily identify given function is continuous or derivable next fifth point every differentiable function every differentiable function is continuous every differentiable function is continuous what it means if a function is differentiable no need to check continuity sometimes we will check directly differentiability then function is differentiable no need to check continuity so because if a function is differentiable that it means that is already continuous then no need to check that function is continuous or not now why we are discussing completely continuous functions and differentiable functions in mean value theorems because mean value theorems explains about the functions which are continuous which are continuous and derivable mean value theorems 
describe about the functions which are continuous and derivable in the given interval. They will have some applications. That applications we are going to discuss in mean value theorem. The functions which are continuous and derivable, they have few applications. That applications we are going to discuss in mean value theorems. Here we are going to discuss four most important mean value theorems. They are Rolle's theorem, Rolle's theorem, next, Lagrange's mean value theorem, Lagrange's mean value theorem, next, Cauchy mean value theorem, C A U C H Y, Cauchy mean value theorem, next, last one we are going to discuss is Taylor's Taylor's series or Taylor's theorem and from Taylor's we are going to derive one more theorem McLaren's theorem these are the four topics we are going to discuss in mean value theorems completely these four topics describes about the functions which are continuous and derivable next we will discuss Rolle's theorem. In that Rolle's theorem, I will explain again how to check a function is continuous or not, derivable or not, very easily without applying these formulas. Are you clear, ma?